Hey guys, my name's Jim Friend and in this tutorial we're going to look at making 3D text, beginner to expert. Okay, so we start here in After Effects and we go up to File, New, Maxon Cinema 4D File and it'll ask you to save that. That will then launch Cinema 4D Lite. We can close this dialog box. One thing to note is that in the full version of Cinema 4D, we have something called MoText, but I think it's actually even just called Text now and you find it in the objects. But that gives you a lot more options to kind of play around with things with MoGraph. But we can still create 3D text. So let's go up to Spline and Text Spline. Now, obviously this is just the outline, so we need to give it some geometry. So the next thing we wanna do is go up to our extrude and click once, and then just make that text a child of the extrude by dragging it until we see a little down arrow with a box, and that will extrude the text. Now for some reason it comes out the front, and I kind of think it always works better coming out the back, so all you need to do is take this offset to a minus number. If you're new to Cinema 4D and you're wondering how to navigate around, um, there's three little buttons at the top of the screen here. Um, this one kind of pans us, this one zooms us in, and the next one orbits us. But the shortcuts are super easy for this as well. Just hold down the one key and click and drag, that'll pan you. Two key, click and drag, zoom three key, click and drag to orbit. And if you're just getting started with 3D, I've got a course over on my website all about learning Cinema 4D Lite. There's a link in the description below. So that's the most basic 3D text. If we get it in frame and click save, control or Apple S, then head over to After Effects where we can see a file has been created drop that into a composition and we can see that text appear. Now obviously we can see the um, grid behind it, so just go to the effect controls, turn this to current and that will disappear. So this is as basic as you can get when doing 3D text and obviously it looks horrendous. So let's jump back to Cinema 4D and add a bit more to this text. So I'm just gonna jump back to Cinema 4D Let's start by changing the text. So we just need to make sure we've dropped down the extrude and we can see that text spline. And in text spline, we can change the text here. So I'm gonna put expert. Next thing I wanna do is change the font. Make sure you're on the text spline and go to font. And let's choose, let's choose something like this. Now some fonts are better than others um, and sometimes the kerning is a bit off but it's actually really, really easy to change the kerning. If you want to change that, just change the spacing between the words. Just hit the kerning button there and you can just use the viewport to space your letters out a little bit better. Maybe something like this. Now the next thing I want to look at is putting some bevels on the edges. In 3D that's super important to have some rounding on your edges so that when you put lights in your scene it's got something to catch against. All we do for that is click on our extrude in our objects and go to caps and bevel both sides and we're just going to push that out to maybe four there. You can also load presets here, um, which are quite fun to look through, but I'm just gonna go for standard bevel. If you wanna see that back in After Effects, just remember to save, Control or Apple S, and then you can jump back to After Effects. That will update, and you can export from here. But let's carry on making this look better. Jumping back to Cinema 4D Lite, and let's color this in. So we need to make a material for that. If we go down to this section here, this is our material manager, double click. That will create a material and we can throw that onto our extrude in our objects that will color it in. And to change the color, all we do is double click and select a color. I'm sure everyone's used to this from Photoshop or After Effects or any other app. Um, 
let's go for a kind of blue. I also want to add a different color to the front cap. So if we double click again to create another material and we throw that on our extrude, you'll see that it actually overwrites the blue channel there. Um, so it's a kind of hierarchy. If I move this white one before the blue one, the blue one will be the one that colorizes our text. So let's move that back. So to make a selection and just show the white on the front, we're gonna to go to that extrude. We're gonna go into attributes, selection, and say end cap. That's now created a tag for us. And if we click on the white um, material, we can actually drop that tag into selection and that will just push that white through on the end cap. So two more things, I'm gonna add a camera, add some lights and we'll call it a day for this. Firstly, let's add a camera. I'm gonna go up to this camera icon and click once to create a camera. And I'm gonna make sure we're looking through the camera by just checking this little icon next to the camera, making sure that's on. Then using our one, two or three keys or using these keys up the top here, I'm gonna just move into position I think especially for text, it looks better if we're on a, on a wide angle lens because it kind of makes it feel even bigger. So let's drop that focal length down. If we go to this camera and we can just chuck this right the way down to maybe somewhere like that. And then I'm gonna zoom in using that two key, one key to reposition, three key to pivot and frame it up something like this. Let's save that and view it in After Effects. So that's looking all right. I think we just need to work on the shading a little bit. And as there's no lights in the scene, it's using a default light at the moment. So let's just art direct the lights a little bit. So jumping back to Cinema 4D and I'm gonna click on the light icon here. As you can see, that kind of throws it into darkness. Quite a cool effect if we save that, jump back to After Effects. Quite interesting, but um, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> at the moment, we're kind of looking at this through a draft view, um, and it makes it really fast to work around the scene. If we wanna see closer to the final result, we have to go to this um, little play icon with clapperboard and go to interactive render region, and we can extend that out. This is gonna show us our final result. There's a little slider here, which is a quality control, kind of makes things slower or faster. So we can take that up to the top and let's position these lights. Um, quite difficult to kind of grab things in this view and position them. I mean, you could do it, but it's sometimes a little bit tricky. So if we wanna have a, little, a better perspective on our scene, we can go up to this icon here, which is a little box and now we got a four up view where we can see the top, the front and the right hand side. So now it's really easy to, just using the one and two keys to zoom out here, it's really easy to just take this and kind of light this a bit better. Remember save and go back to After Effects to see the result. I think we could do with one more light here. So I'm gonna throw another light into that and maybe put it over this side and push this one even further around. Saving that, see updates and after effects. This looks quite cool, T probably too much light coming in from that side. So all I'm gonna do is take that second light and go to intensity just bring that down slightly, something like that. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribe, really helps with the channel. And if you're just getting started with 3D, check out some other videos on this channel or click the link in the description below to get the free course on Cinema 4D Lite.